So Claire's teased me a few nights sleeping all the way through, which is great, but it means that we miss those feeds yeah. and I end up with really sore breasts. Mm. So I'm wondering what I can do about that or what, what risks Gradually are. your breasts will adjust to that, of course, mm. but um, are you waking up and they're really, really full and hard? In the morning, yeah. Yep. Um, do they leak a little bit for you? Yes, I'm still wearing breast pads. <laughs> okay, so that's really important because that's one way of managing it. But I guess what you really need to make sure is that they don't get over full and too hard because you don't want to run the risk of getting mastitis. You know where your breasts um, are so full that they might there might be a block in there and once that happens you can get an infection really fast and that's called mastitis. Yeah. Um, and often with mastitis you have a, a, a red spot on that, that bit of the breast. It's really hot and you can get sick really quickly with a high temperature, feel sick, feel like you've got the flu or something and then you have to see a doctor straight away. And when you ring up the doctor you always say, I think I've got mastitis so they can get you in quickly. Mm -hmm. Because like we talked about with bottle feeding and the milk sitting around in the bottle growing germs, mm -hmm. your breasts are the same. Mm -hmm. So we have to be careful. So for you, if you do wake up in the night, you might just express just a little bit off until you're comfortable, not, mm -hmm. not completely empty them, but make sure you're just, they're soft enough to be comfortable mm -hmm. um, and so you don't run that risk. Um, and as you know, your breasts get used to it, they'll, they'll adjust. Okay. Yeah. But that milk that I've expressed off, that's safe to keep? I could oh yes, you can keep that milk and put it away and save it yep. for another time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but certainly make sure that your breasts don't get so full that that, um, that you're going to uh, get a blocked duct or something. Yep. Yeah. So leaking helps, mm -hmm. but also making sure you express a bit out. And some other people have said that I can like have a a shower or something to try Yes, and you can do that, have a shower, or, or even just some warm washes can, okay. can sometimes help. Um, but a shower helps and just, you know, just, just letting it come out, drip yeah. out, till you're, till you're comfy again. Okay. Yep.